Matt for coming in. Look at the size of these red snapper coming in. Yes, sir. Wow. Beast mode. That is a big, giant red snapper right there. Nighttime bite. Let me get some light on them. There we go. Beautiful fish. Every bit of 20 pounds. Turn this way. There you go. Look at that big, fat mangrove off the first spot. Good job, sir. All right. Staring at the first glimpse of that sunrise. All right, my second one of the trip. Not too bad. Good 12, 13 pounder. Who got that today? Look at these two monsters. Holy cow. Look at that gag and look at that red snapper. Hubbard's 39 hour trip. Real Baby jump. Jay holding up the meat. Real jump yes, inside. sir. We got Jamaican Greg with a nice one on the deck. <laughs> and he's reeling in ah. another one. <laughs> got color. There's a nice fish coming Ooh. up right there. Yep. Yes, sir. Lift your bring your rod back. And then hand line him right. Oh, geez. Christ. He wasn't hooked too good. But that's okay. You want a bigger one than that. You want a bigger one than that. We got another one right here. There's a nice one. Hold on, hold on. Get the man up. Nice and smooth. <laughs> it's a little hectic up on the uh, on the Hubbard's Marina. There we go, baby. Another rest. No, no, no. You see how wide the back cooler's is about two thirds full. Got some big fish up in the front cooler as well. Just came off a spot. Had a ton of red snapper on it. A lot of people limited out on the red snappers. Still got uh, a bunch of hours of fish left. We'll be back. All right, we got George. From George from where? Merlin. From Merlin. With a beautiful mangrove snapper. Look at this thing. We're on the end of our trip. Last hour, hour and a half of fishing or so. Got to be at least. Good a morning, guys. Six -pound Captain Dylan Hubbard snapper. here at Hubbard's Marina. Captain Garrett and the guys just got back in, and Captain Garrett put them on the meat. Big pile of fat, fat red snapper. Nice gag grouper, red grouper and uh, some nice mangroves. The mangrove bite was a little picky, but some big vermilions and monster red snapper made up for it with some big gags mixed in. Called Cap Garrett this morning, asked him how they did. He said, oh, they did pretty good. So I knew it was gonna be a stellar catch. <laughs> the ever humble Captain Garrett. What's going on, Will? Yeah, Looks we, like you guys murked them. Yeah, we got them out there. Uh, and you said big vermilions. We covered them all up with these red snappers. We got like 200 big vermilions off one spot. That's awesome. And uh, that made up for our mediocre mango bite at night. But they were really nice size big vermilions. We lost a lot of gags out there this trip. Wow. A lot. And uh, they're many bigger than the biggest. We probably ended up with a 20 in this trip, but we had some 30s and bigger on. Nice. We got a close to 20 pound red snapper, a little bigger than that one, I would say. And, uh, Overall, really good trip. Somebody, Matt, on the back here. Yeah, and, uh, you got four red groupers and two gags, and I think the jackpot gag. Wow, that's crazy. You guys murked them, man. Yeah, great. Fish. What was the hot bait? I was trying to think. Somebody said something special. They're still doing the uh, whole red fin and a strip of squid with a red grouper. Yeah, that's still working. And, uh, pin, I would say pinfish on the gags. I'm on, I think Mac may have caught all six of his groupers on pinfish this trip. That's awesome, man. Well, I appreciate it, Will. Thanks, buddy. Yes, sir. Another stellar trip. As you guys can see, they did really well on the fish and caught a big pile of big red snapper. Nice vermilions, nice red grouper gags. Still breaking off a lot of fish. Got to use that heavier tackle. That 100-pound test is definitely 
a good method to keep from having to uh, deal with the break-offs and the heartbreak of losing a big, big guy grouper. 